As for now, we have just discussed about the user interface for the storyboards and how you can use them for laying out your interface. The first thing we are just going to discuss now is the clicks. So whenever you add a button, you need to add a method or a event that has to happen whenever you just click that button. For that, the first requirement is that you should have added the viewcontroller.cs file of the controller. And the next thing is that to click on the button, go to the properties, and now what you should do is that you should name that. For my convention, I just name my button as bdn underscore main click. And I just press enter. As I press enter, so my control would be visible in the view controller. And if I just press BTN, I'm able to see that. But what is required for creating an event handler? And for creating an event handler, I just need to double click that. That's as easy as it. So I just create a double click and now here is a yellow button and uh, with it what I can do is that I can place my event handlers location location inside the lines of the code and I will just like the last one just press enter and here you see btn main click underscore touch up inside so touch up inside is the event that pops up or that occurs whenever you just click your button so now what I would just simply do is that so for creating a pop-up in iOS you have to create a UI alert view I'll just click a UI alert view alert is equal to new UI alert view and that I will just simply add a few parameters for example the title should be congrats and uh, I'm searching for some new parameters uh, so now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add a pop-up for the pop-up menu I only need a UI alert view and for that I'm just going to add create a object of the UI alert view I would say UI alert view alert is equal to new UI alert view and now I can add a lot of uh, very uh, sorry a lot of uh, parameters that title it should be congrats congrats okay there we go Secondly, the message I'm going to show, the message should be you have successfully managed click. And uh, <clears throat> for Dell, I'll just place a null here. And now I'll just add the cancel button text. I would say OK. And uh, other button don't need not to add any other button. Simply just end the statement. So that is it for displaying a pop-up in iOS. I'll just run that in the simulator and let's see what happens. A quick tip while the simulator loads is that uh, if you have loaded your simulator once, kindly do not quit it. If you are developing so that whenever you just deploy that to your simulator it takes less time and uh, it's 
faster than uh, it takes by loading simulator every time. So it's debugging in my simulator and for that is compiling my code and now it's connecting to the debugger and ding 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 here you go come on and it's still waiting for a debugger connection okay no worries take your time So there you go, and now if I just click on the next page, nothing happens. So the reason nothing happened is, as I'm sorry, I just missed a statement here that it was alert dot show. And now if I run that in simulator, it should display a pop-up menu and that is a default pop-up menu of uh, a pop-up display of iOS. And just go back to the simulator, it's deploying and I hope I see that screen soon and I'm really eager to just click on that button <laughs> because once I have made a blunder I'm quite eager to just go back to the button and I would just like to see what happens. So now when I click, so here is a small message that I'm able to see. That is the congrats, you have successfully managed clicks. So I think you have an idea now that how you can manage clicks uh, inside your iOS native application using C Sharp and Xamarin Studio. And uh, I hope you have some clear idea that how you can even create UA alerts and uh, just deep dive into the documentation of UA alert view so you can add some more buttons and you can customize that accordingly to your application. And uh, this was all for clicks. See you next time. Thank you.